Hemp growing depends directly on contracts. We have to sign first a contract with an industrial society through our Hemp Producers Federation. At this point, it becomes possible to grow hemp. A hemp sowing is made each year around May and you harvest it around the beginning of September. In Le Mans, in France, they produce hemp seeds which contains a very low toxical agents level. Hemp legalization is very precise and obliges producers to use varieties which have been tested and contain no drug. They must have not only a strong agricultural potential, but a very low THC rate too. A hemp has a great industrial future. According to the tests we have made and the hemp uses we have developed, you can see that hemp adapted well to a lot of industrial uses, well, such as paper, also uh, textile. Hemp textile has been made since the last century, up to the beginning of now the 20th century, and today we start to develop this sector again, and we hope to reach soon a, a top level. As far as other industrial uses are concerned, we have now a lot of French and foreign demands to test this material. Here, for example, amongst others, for hemp industrial use, a German asked us to test and incorporate hemp in the breaking disc manufacturing process because it's very resistant and non-toxic at all, non-toxic for human beings. Hemp renewal has drawn the attention of the American Cannabis Bible and magazine High Times, who sent their intrepid journalist Ed Rothenthal to Europe and Hungary to bring back photographs. Ed has issued a book called Hemp Today. revolution had grown and by 1992 the British media announced the first legal hemp harvest for 70 years in England. We were often asked whether people can get high from this because obviously people see it as being cannabis, marijuana. We prefer to call it hemp. Um, one of the things we had to convince the Home Office before they issued us the license was that we would be able to comply with current European law which says that you must not grow varieties which have got more than 0.3% THC. Um, which is the cannabinol in, in the plant. And obviously we have been able to convince them with our trials in previous years that the varieties are totally safe. They have checked up on these crops, they've sent inspectors around, samples have been taken to check, and you can get no um, satisfactory effect from smoking any of this crop. Or if you smoke the entire 50-acre field behind me, you would get a very big headache, but uh, it would do yourself no good at all. At the first International Ecological Festival in Frankfurt, March 1995, the green activists are successfully promoting hemp culture. The International Hemp Association was formed in 1992. We're based in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And this group was formed primarily to facilitate communication between the various groups, sometimes factions within the hemp world. We're a non-political organization. We try to uh, be an impartial liaison between all sorts of factions involved with the cannabis world, whether they be involved with medical use, textile use, oil seed use, any of these various, uh, various uses for hemp. Near the conference, a commercial exhibition shows the possible benefits of hemp and cannabis. Since the legalization of cannabis use in March 1995 in Germany, hemp has become fashionable in the small world of the ecological producers of this country. It's 100% natural cosmetic done um, of the basis of hemp oil. For example, we make this uh, shampoo. It's a um, composition with uh, hemp soap. 
and the hair balm that they use it in combination with the shampoo, the best results gives. We have a perfume since more than one year in the market, a lip balm, care cream, and the soft soap. A real fashion began with the issue of this book on hemp. Hemp has become so popular in Germany that the market today is very good for us. Some of our textiles come from Eastern Europe, from Hungary, Romania, very few from China because we are not yet satisfied with the quality. And we have also our own textiles directly produced here in Germany. I hope it will soon be legal to grow hemp in Germany, because a lot of European countries already do it. We still have a very strong bureaucratic system in Germany, and for this reason we are not yet allowed to grow hemp. But I think hemp growing will soon be legalized here too. Evolution uh, attempts to get more hemp grown, produced and sold all around the world. Uh, and we do that in a variety of ways. Our, our pride and joy at the project that we take the most satisfaction in is the development of the first hemp jeans, the first 100% hemp blue jeans since Levi Strauss first made them in the 1860s. Hemp seeds and oil are increasingly used in cooking. In Switzerland, a cookery bestseller includes 22 recipes based on hemp. My name is Matthias Brückers. Uh, I'm a uh, journalist and writer, and I edited Jack Herrer's book, The Emperor Worth No Clothes, in Germany. We added a lot of scientific data and stuff uh, on the Ger German and European history of hemp to the American emperor with no clothes. And uh, so the book uh, went a bestseller in Germany immediately. Uh, we started Hanfhaus, a company which is developing and selling products from hemp. And um, the most important and most revolutionary product is sativa a washing detergent from hemp oil. The main difference is certainly that hemp is an ecological culture. Hemp growing doesn't need any weed killer, no pesticide. This raw material grows naturally and it doesn't need any chemical interventions. This is surely the most important thing. In France, you can even build houses out of boards made of hemp fiber. The producers ensure that they are protected against fire and rot. This material is long-lasting has good insulating properties and is strong and flexible.